uh, after the night of failure, I thought I'd try something a bit simpler. So I've got my piggyback mount up here, and I'm just going to try some wide field on Beetlejuice because I've seen something called Pickett's Bell, uh, which apparently was discovered by, I think, Tom Pickett. I'm not sure if it's even an official thing. I couldn't find any information about this online, so my curiosity is piqued. So I'm going to try and find it. My name is Dylan O'Donnell, and you're watching Star Stuff. Remember that spider joke I made about the CGX? Well, it turns out the joke was on me. Breaking news, Beetlejuice is cancelled. Well, not really. In fact, all the news media I read about Beetlejuice, uh, which we know is going to explode, but everyone is super cautious. Go, go. We just want that thing to go supernova because the images would be awesome. But I was running the numbers. If Beetlejuice is going to explode on any given night, any time in the next 100,000 years, uh, that means you have a one in about 36 million chance of it blowing up today or tonight on any given night. So those odds seem pretty bad, but they're actually 10 times better than winning the lottery in America anyway. It's actually uh, pretty bad compared to the Australian stats. I, in doing the research for this, I looked it up and apparently you're more likely to win the lottery in Australia than America. I guess you guys are suckers. The reason I went to photograph Beetlejuice last night is because there was something weird about it which I didn't realise. And all of this news about Beetlejuice exploding made this even more interesting. I was scrolling Facebook when I saw a guy called Tom Pickett, an astrophotographer in America, who posted about the fact that he discovered something in 2015 called Pickett's Bell, or at least he's calling it Pickett's Bell. If you take a wide field image of Beetlejuice at about 150 millimeters, uh, I did mine in 135 millimeters, uh, you'll notice there is a distinct bell shape around Beetlejuice. This does look like some kind of material that's been ejected from the star. Now everything that we're seeing Beetlejuice do right now in terms of dimming uh, is what we would expect to see at the end of a uh, star's life. Uh, we've never seen supernova really as up close as this one would be, so there are a lot of things we don't know about this process. But the fuel depletion, the dimming, the size, that all sort of makes sense and that is what we would expect on a regular stellar evolutionary model before a star explodes. So anyway, I managed to capture Pickett's Bell, which sort of looks like a big pair of testicles as well. Uh, so maybe this unclassified object should be called Pickett's Testicles. So this is an example of cheap astronomy. It's just 30 second exposure, it's nothing fancy. You could probably capture this with a Star Adventurer or Ioptron tracking mount, anything small, even a dinky little alt azimuth mount that you've got lying around. Point your camera straight to Beetlejuice, see if you can get a few exposures and expose Pickett's balls. Good luck, we hope it explodes, and remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. Thank you.